Hey everybody, uh, yeah, I wasted no time, I, uh, I broke the seal, you know how, uh, alcoholics will describe, like, when you, when you're getting drunk, this is just something I've heard, I actually remember hearing this in a, in my brewing class in college, believe it or not, alcoholics or, or drunk people will say, like, oh, you know, once you start peeing, then you're gonna need to pee, like, every minute, you know, when you're wicked drunk. So don't break the seal, right? Well, I broke the seal on playing Salty Bet, and now you're probably gonna get a ton of streams of it in a row. Uh, cause every once in a while, you know what? I get addicted to gambling, and that's just a thing, you know? I have kind of an addictive personality sometimes, so... Uh, that really sounds like a self-compliment, like my personality is addictive. I have like... you know what I mean, though. Ah yes, I'm so alluring. Anyway, this is not fan art, of course, this is Dwayne. This is just... I don't know what this is. Uh, maybe I should just keep him in the corner, like... How I do with reviews sometimes. And I'll, I'll do the webcam, I'll do webcam today, because why not? And because a lot of time. Hold on, I'm adjusting my mic. While, uh... While doing Salty Bite, a lot of times there are times where I'm just sitting there doing nothing. <laughs> so at least you'll be able to see my face. Uh... Is it... Big. That's big. This is the little one. And you know what, Dwayne... It's actually perfect. We're like red and blue. I'm like the evil Dwayne. He'll be my co-host for today. No lark. Uh... I'll probably edit that out soon. But it looks great. Looks great right now. Okay. Uh... Let's get the Danganronpa music out of here. And get whatever they're playing in here, in here. Laser Hawk. So, welcome everybody. If you missed yesterday's stream, or if you've never seen one of these before, uh... We're betting money on AI fighting each other in a fighting game with like a kajillion characters. Uh, right now Captain Falcon is on screen. And even though his win rate is much lower... I gotta. I mean, that just means the possibility of an upset is here. Let's go 20,000. You guys can't see it, but when I click on this little window here, there's a bunch of, like, Google, like, autofill form stuff there. And I kind of have strategized and typed out, like, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 100,000 or something. So I can just easily select those options, but you guys can't see that menu. Alright, you guys are going to see a snort, but you're not going to hear it. Okay, beautiful. I think that got it. I think that got it done. Oh, wait. I need to actually vote on Captain Falcon. Oh my god, that was close. 
I didn't actually click on it until the last second. <laughs> okay, so for the stream yesterday with Lark, I bought, like, a thing of Angry Orchards. And I was kind of expecting us to drink more, but we each just had one, and, like, I was done after one. I was, like, every time I drink alcohol, even the lightest stuff like cider, I just am, like, that was nasty. Because by the end of the drink, it's, like, unless you fucking chug it, at the end of that drink, it's gonna be nasty and warm and gross. So I'm really gonna try to drink this fast, is what I'm saying. Uh, cause I, I need to get through these because I'm not gonna drink these unless it's a stream gimmick, basically. So, I'm gonna force it to be a stream gimmick, at least for a little bit. Captain Falcon fucking choked. He was doing great. And then he fucked it up. We're even, me and Dwayne here are, uh, red and blue. Just like the... In fact, we're kind of split. Look at the, uh, look at, like, this... Red, red column, red guy, blue column, blue guy. I did not plan that. I didn't bet? The bet didn't go through? Oh. I thought I hit it at the last second. I saw the little arrow appear, but I guess I was too late. That's fine then, because Captain Falcon is choking. Yeah, we look like Joy-Cons. <laughs> Power Rangers. Go, go. Oh, this is literally, this is the funny Power Rangers song. Hell yeah. MVSN Noseblood. I saw Beavis earlier. I was kind of sad, like, right before I started the stream. I was like, oh shit, I got Beavis. That's perfect, he's dancing too. He loves to dance. Oh, you! Oh. Oh, I like Noseblood a lot. Nose blood is great. And this one we're actually gonna bet. Demonetization song. Here's the thing about Salty Bet streams, okay? <clears throat> they all get demonetized. Because there's so many of, like, just random things like this. Hey, have we noticed that it says I'm number 333 up here? I think that's a remainder from a tournament earlier. I think if I refreshed the window, it wouldn't say that anymore. I think I got into the top 1,000 once when I, like, peaked over 6 mil. But that's the highest I ever got. I actually- I took a screenshot of it on my phone. Let's see, what was my highest salt amount? It was 6 million and some change. And then I- I blew it. I just- I just had a horrible losing streak after that. I think it's like when you get a bunch of money in this game and then you... <sighs> You think, like, oh, I've got money to spare, I'll go for a bunch of upsets, and then it doesn't work out. Let's see here. Oh, man. I haven't been watching. Noseblood is, like, turning into a Saint Seiya character? Did I see that right? I mean, no. I don't know who the hell that is. I only saw it for, like, a frame. Nope, I do not- <laughs> I do not know that guy. He's awesome, though. Well, if this continues, he's gonna lose because of the health difference. 6,065,292 salty bucks is my record. I have the screenshot here. The match was, uh... A giant head versus Ryu. Kizaru head. That's a One Piece character, right? Kizaru. Yeah, I'm happy to be doing Salty Bet again. It's just a fun... I was kind of, you know, I... Uh, I just kind of want to do a low-stakes thing. Like a hangout-type stream, because I don't really do shit like that. A lot of streamers have like, Oh, we're just chatting. Oh, we're just going to talk for a bit. I always feel like I, ha I need to have a game there. Oh, this stage is so fucking cool. I forget what it's from. Is it from Fatal Fury? No. Does anybody know what the stage is from? Because it's it's legit one of the coolest looking fighting game stages ever. The guy on the fish in the background, too. Alright, we've seen this guy with the jazz hands before. Let's just do a, a humble 10k on him. Because I don't really care about either of these schlubs. Yeah, right? I could bet big. I could... Like, there's these little things at the bottom of the screen. You can't see the, like, 10% one over here because the webcam, but... I've thought about just being like, okay, what if I just do 10% on, like, all fights, but 
I really don't want to. Like, I feel like I've tried that before and it didn't work. But it's all a lot of it's a lot of chance. There's a lot of chance. Do you believe in the infamous salty bet rule to never bet on Dragon Ball characters? Well, isn't it like DBZ? If you type that in, it says always bet on DBZ. And then if you say like DBZ two, it says never bet on DBZ. And then DBZ3 says always, sometimes, never bet on DBZ. Maybe. So it's- I don't think it's very conclusive. Uh, yeah, I'm using Bella's account because I got banned. I'm sorry if that's like shitty. I know that's ban evasion, but... I just- I, I wanted to be able to pay Salty, but I want to be able to give them money for the service that I overall like. I just had small gripes with it. And I got 1984, whatever. I tend not to bet on DBZ. Kind of lame. I don't know. I'm sorry. That was a very like white thing to say. Never got the appeal. What if you get Bella banned? That I when I ask to use her account. I said, you know, there is a possibility that you will also get banned, but she doesn't care. Also, this is, yeah, I was gonna say, this is new generation, uh, Elena theme, I wanna say? Or is it... No, this is like, oh fuck, whose theme is this, like Ibuki? It's just reused theme, I think. It's such a shame how uh, older versions of Street Fighter games get so forgotten. Like, there's so many cool stages and songs in New Generation and Second Impact. We're gonna go for the upset here, even though it's very unlikely. Th these fucking, like, sweaty, try-hard... Uh, I guess these are both SNK characters. <laughs> But like, fucking Kyo, and he's got an 82% win rate in S tier, like, yeah. I tried to make a new account with a uh, burner email, but you need to... I think you can set your Twitch account to require people to have a account that is verified with a phone number. And... I only have one phone number. Which is weird, because I, I remember making a burner account in the past to try to evade the ban. I don't know how I did that. I don't, maybe they made the new the rule about the phone number thing is new. I don't know. New Generation is a weird-ass game. I mean, all those early versions of Street Fighter games have uh, a lot of jank as well, on top of general weirdness. This is Lark. Say something, Lark. He's shy. He's quiet. He's quiet today. You know, don't worry about it. Oh my god, guys, I'm doing the thing. Oh, this means you're, uh, sexually frustrated, right? This is what I always hear. I don't feel sexually frustrated, but that's apparently what that means. According to frat dudes at parties. I do have a plan for playing Skullgirls. Me and Lark are just gonna play it, and me and Bella are probably gonna play it too. Bella's probably gonna sit in on one of these streams as well. Isn't that a thing? I always heard that it was like, oh, this means you're like... Uh, is this really not... I feel like I've heard this like ten times in my life. He's horny pissed. <laughs> I, that's totally a thing that people say. Is like, oh, if you, oh, dude, you know, if you pick the beer label, then you... you that means you're frustrated. Maybe not. Oh, Phoenix Wright, fuck yeah. I, it's, I'm actually getting a really clean peel, too. That's hot. Oh my god, and look at that all the way around. Now I just gotta get this top part. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's good, Phoenix Wright. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Oh, and it's P tier, and this chick has a 9% win rate. Holy fuck. They're both relatively young. Author, woman. It's gonna be Phoenix Wright loyalty. But we're probably not gonna, like, this is an undue risk. Like, this is a stupid play right here. Because we're gonna, we're either gonna make very little money if he wins, or we're gonna lose all this money. You know? I don't think I want to do a Tekken series. I, I don't know, Tekken doesn't interest me as much, and it's also, moreover, I don't want to do another series like Street Fighter, like, ever. Not because I hated it, but just because I think it would be a concept, like, it's a concept that already was kind of worn out by the end of the Street Fighter series. Actually, odds are one to one. God damn, okay, well, get it on, Phoenix, right? Even though he's getting his ass beat right now. This is awesome. <laughs> Penix, right. Isn't there a football player whose name is Penix? Or like Penny, or the, it's probably not pronounced like Penix. But I swear I see like it trending on Twitter sometimes. It'll just be like in all caps, the word Penix. And I, and I click on it and it's like a bunch of sports shit. And I'm like, oh. Come on, Phoenix. Oh, you suck. Do something, dude. God damn it. <laughs> Why are there bets of one dollar? Uh, basically, people are farming, uh, experience. Uh... <laughs> how to explain this? Basically, you have, like, a level. You have, like, a rank in this game, and, uh if you pay for, like, having an account, and your little icon changes, so you can have a custom icon, but your icon also, if you don't customize it, can just change to a bunch of different, like, ranks, and basically all it determines, I think, is when you run out of money, the amount of money that you get bailed out with. So, when you first start out playing Salty Bet, your bailout amount is gonna be, like, $200, but as you make more and more bets, uh, and if you, depending on if you have Salty Gold or not, God damn it, Phoenix Wright, you suck. He sucks! Uh... Depending on what your level is, your bailout amount will be higher. So my bailout amount is like $5,000 or something. And so uh, a bunch of people, like a ton of people, bought Gohan Salt Money is one of those accounts that is like... It bets on basically everything, and it's like... <coughs> On it, I think it's an account that is an automatic bot that is pulling from that list of like matchup data that that one guy wrote, and it's basically just betting for things that it thinks will win statistically, and then betting small amounts on matches that are uh, a coin toss. Basically, we got Bubbles versus Chun Li. Uh, hmm, it's B tier. We've had nothing but losses all day. I'm pretty sure. Let's do 20k on Bubbles. I'm feeling... No, let's do 20k on chun -Li, actually. And I may, you know, regret those words. Snort time. Three mil on Bubbles. Too bad I don't have three mil, otherwise I'd do it, brother. Maybe... Dwayne is very, uh, his head is very small compared to mine. No, he, like, moves. He schmoofs too much. Is that good? Is he remaining within the... the bounds of the frame? I think he is, yeah. I'll move over a little bit. He's kind of bumping into me. Ow. 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 chun -Li, you fucking suck. I should've known. Spinning bird kick doesn't hit a tiny little baby. Stupid. Chu is in his little, uh, his little house. He's having a little sleep. Actually, he's very cute right now. Should I show you guys while this snooze fest is going on? Then Dwayne's gonna be in the way, sorry. There he is. 
There's the little lad having a little snooze. He's so adorable. Oh, this is still going, is it? Show his balls. No. Next question. Uh, the porch is pretty far gone. Uh, one of the bars, two of the bars have been bitten clean through. He loves to eat his porch. Oh, we got a, uh, what's it called? Little Fighter 2? Or something like that? It... They always look like shit. It's these shitty little, like, Gaia Online looking ass sprites. I remember with LF2 characters being quite common, and they, they heal. They have, like, potions that heal them, I think. Or a lot of them do. Yep. Look at this shitty little guy. I... I'm gonna bet on him, though. I have a distaste for these characters, but I'm gonna bet on him. I just don't believe in Superior Spider-Man. You guys hear the music okay? The Salty Bet always got the bangers. And, and, and the very occasional joke song. I wonder if we'll hear the, uh, the Salty Bet, like, theme song as sung by the guy who voices, uh, Regali or whatever in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yes, I, uh, I saw that. Silent Hill Isaac mod thing. I will do, I will download that because that seems cool. I'm sorry. I saw like I'm so bad at like responding to shit. I saw your email and stuff. I just uh, am bad at. I, I, I'm genuinely actually kind of the worst at responding to stuff. So if you ever send something to me and I don't respond, uh, don't take it personally. Uh, I just suck. I just simply suck. If we hear Gay Bona, I will be so happy. Yeah, it looks like Superior Spider-Man's not looking too superior right about now. <laughs> oh, it's not even up on the workshop yet. Oh. Well, yeah, let me know. Meeting shit. See? Those pieces of shit. The fuck is this music? Overnight Step by Ayako Sasso? Maybe that's that seems kinda old in the chat. What's the biggest bet you ever lost? I think on stream in the finale of one of the seasons, it was like season one or two, I, I bet like two million and lost it. I think. That was the Killer Croc match. It was like Killer Croc against Shermie from uh, King of Fighters. I saw a mold bread post in the Splatoon 3 lobby and I have photographic evidence. You mean like someone talking about eating mold or was it like a specific like grapefruit thing? Alright, did we did we win? Outer space comistas mix. Hmm. BF Mario vs Bra 18 on Kira's house. Uh that could be any number of Kira's. And we won mo money off of that, cool. Grapefruit moldy bread with the bread picture, that's funny. We gotta go for BF Mario, it is indeed Kira's house. It's the... Adam Hart father fight location with the camera guy. One of the most underwhelming fights in part 4. He's a 14% win rate P tier. Fuck yeah. Dudes rock. I'm gonna actually make a big bet, because P-tier is where some of the craziest upsets happen. I'm just a dreamer. I'm probably gonna lose money here, but I like to dream. I love to dream. I love to eat shit. What is this? I feel like I've heard 
this, like, call and response thing. It's a very, like, uh... Oh, what's that one saxophone player who would, like, do this? And he'd, like, point to the crowd, you know? Am I tripping balls? I can't- I'm blanking on the name. I don't know what- Bra18, I don't know if that's, like, a boobs joke or why she's called Bra. It's clearly, like, supposed to be, like, Android18, but she's turning different palettes and... What's happening? Why does she look different for every attack that she does? Busta Rhymes, gimme some more. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. BF Mario is getting his... He's getting effed in the B. I did see the person who self-ships themselves with uh, Mr. Game & Watch. Oh yeah. I recognize the shit out of this. Oh yeah, okay. I was like, I know I know this. It's Sonic, right? This is like... Sonic Adventure 2? I don't know which Sonic game it's from, but I think it's Sonic. It's the like, uh... This is like the fight against, like, Metal Sonic. There was... Because we heard a version of this song when I played Sonic the Hedgehog 4. Sonic Generation Stardust Speedway from Sonic CD. But it's the Generations remix. But we heard a version of this song in Sonic the Hedgehog 4, I think, when we fought Metal Sonic. I might be wrong. It's a banger song. One thing I'll never take away from Sonic games is that uh, they do have good music. I, I mean, you know, even that has to have an asterisk. I never cared for the butt rock. Don't really care for the stuff in, like, Frontiers and shit, but... They're, like, classic tunes are great. <laughs> Man, I forgot Sonic 4 existed. I was having a good day. <laughs> Oh, this is a Fatal Fury, like, one stage. And hell, is this guy on the right also from Fatal Fury? Maybe not. Uh, we're going with him, though. We're fighting. We're paying all of our money to him. <clears throat> okay, I have to force myself to drink this. I'm the worst at responding to emails and finishing drinks. I will super consistently stop drinking a, an alcoholic beverage with like a tiny, 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 tiny little sip in the bottom of the can or the bottle. I just suck at finishing them because it's like, you know what it is? Wow. It's like, when you're holding a drink in your hand, your body heat is, like, going into it, you know? And it's like, as you're drinking it, it's slowly getting warmer and warmer, and the rate at which it gets warmer exponentially is, like, raising. I don't know if it's actually ex exponential. The rate is going up with how little, like, the, the, the amount of liquid decreases and decreases and decreases. Tengu, keep this up, man. I'm loving what I'm seeing. Hell yeah! What was that turnaround? God damn! Wow! I am like... Exactly, I leave cans with an inch of stuff left. And it's just because that last drink is just nasty! Oh, It's just like, ugh, it's like... Beer already, already tastes so fucking nasty. And then it's like that tiny little warm, foamy, spit... Swaddle at the bottom, or swaddle, what am I trying to say? Swill. It's fucking swill, okay? I'm not drinking the swill. Oh, this is cool. This Big the Cat looks like it was made by the same person who made the Roxas that we saw yesterday. <sighs> but who are we betting on here? I'm going Big the Cat. Fuck it. I'm not doing a huge bet on Big the Cat, but I'm betting on Big the Cat. Mm -hmm. 
We don't know if my name is banned in chat. I'm not inclined to try, and I, I honestly think it all seems like a very sensitive issue, and I worry that the reason that I got banned a couple of times is just because I streamed this game and was bringing too much, like, attention to it. I don't know. I don't know if I have that much, like, influence, but, uh, let's just not poke that bee's nest, you know? Nice. Hell yeah, dude. Froggy is near. I'm coming, little buddy. Yeah, that was the Tower of Heaven song. Well, you know, I brought undue attention to this and was kind of obnoxious in chat. So. I don't think I was that obnoxious, I think I just said things that Salt did not like. Because apparently the big man himself banned me. That's just what I heard. I don't know if that's true. I'm not gonna be a weird guy who takes pride in that sort of thing. So so many people like pop off, they're like, oh Lamo, I got banned, <laughs> and it's like they're secretly pissed. It's like, no, I'm just upset. <laughs> like, I don't know. Isn't that a thing? Like, some people kind of take pride in that. It's such a thing to, like, post a screenshot of somebody blocking you on Twitter. Such a wretched thing to do. New Kakuin. The stage is great. I guess we'll go with new Kakuin. Fuck it. Let's do like 34 or 39. I like to see, because you see like with the amount of money that I have, that's not just a random number I'm typing in. I, I like to, if I lose, I like to be at clean like 000 at the end of the number, you know? One thing about the, uh, so this is Kakuin, I think, after he gets his eyes scratched out and then recovers. Something that's like a cool detail that I, I never, maybe this is an obvious thing, but in that fight against, uh, what was his name, Enduel, I think? Or am I, is that a different name? The guy with the, the blind dude with, like, the water stand that, like, forms into a claw. Yeah, Enduel. That fight... It's, like, by a cool, like, blind dude who, like, uses his stand to, like, see through, like, the reverberations in the ground and stuff, and that's all very cool. And one thing I noticed in that fight is that, like, he... At one point, he scratches out Kakuin's eyes, and, uh, Kakuin gets, like, booted out of the part for a few chapters, basically, because uh, he has to go recover. And there's another part where, like, Polnareff comes, like, face-to-face with the claw thing, and something I never noticed is that it's holding its two claws right in front of Polnareff's pupils. They're like perfectly lined up, and that's what made it click for me. It's like, oh, for some reason that was the thing that made me realize Enduel intentionally tries to blind people because he is blind. I know this is like a very, like, I know it sounds dumb when I'm saying it here, but like, it took me that until that point to realize, and it, it was like, on like my third reread of part three that I realized it was like, oh my god, he goes for the eyes. It wasn't just like, oh, that's like all he managed. He just went for Kakuin's face and happened to blind him. It's like he intentionally does that. That's so cool. It's like a neat, that's a, that's a cool little, very anime thing. So I'm sorry if I'm explaining something that was patently fucking obvious to other people, but I'm, I'm seeing a lot of people going, oh, I never thought about that. Yo. <laughs> You know what this stage is from? Motherfucking Shaq Fu, baby. I don't know, it, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that's true. Shaq Fu had some nice sprite art. It was just the animation in the game feel was fucking awful. Somebody said, the same way I try and cuck people. <laughs> Fuck, I recognize this too. Like, really hard. Let's 
let's let's look at it. What is it? Fear Factory. Oh, this is just a remix of DKC music. Cool. Shaq Fu is such a terrible game. It, to anybody who doesn't know, Shaq Fu, it, it has a bit of a reputation, but it's a fighting game made by Delphine Studios, who previously only worked on uh, step platformers in the same vein as the original Prince of Persia. They made Another World, and they made Flashback, Flashpoint. I forget what it's called. It's one of those. But these very kind of, like, grounded, realistic platformers where the characters have, like, slightly realistic physics. Waifu? Uh... And so those people made a fighting game, and it has, like, the worst fighting game game feel of all time. It just feels like shit. Brawly is from a movie. He's from a Dragon Ball movie, right? This is my one piece of information I know about him, and he's, like, an OC for that movie, right? Mm. I love eating shit. Eh. That's funny, was that... Is that really what her... Is that really one of her victory animations in King of Fighters, or... Is that a Dudley reference with the waiter coming down from the helicopter? He is now canon. He's canon now, but not this Brawly, a different one. Man, fuck me, I... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's so funny. Crap fighting game series would go hard. We did... Ever, uh, look up, uh... Everybody was scum Fu fighting. There's a main channel video where we play some shitty fighting games. It's only three, but Shaq Fu is in there. Hunter Alpha? I don't know. I don't know where, who either of these guys are, like, at all. Let's just bet 32-247 on this guy. He looks cool enough. Looks like a Ben 10 alien. He's got a Ben 10 ass looking ass. Basically, every DBZ movie is non-canon. What the fuck do you mean? What? <laughs> what does that explain that? I don't understand. I gotta, uh, open the window. There might be a tiny bit of background noise, but I think it should be fine. I wouldn't do this with the lav mics, but I'll do it with this mic. Ooh, looks like we're making little money, baby. They were just promotional material for the anime slash manga. The movies are made for money by other parties. Toei wanted more money while Toriyama was writing the manga. Same thing with One Piece, that's so mental. So, like, is it like they're just little side stories that, like, don't have any impact on the actual main plot? Or is it like there's stuff in the movies that directly contradicts shit that happens in the manga? It's just more like side stories. Hmm. I remember watching through My Hero Academia, there was, like, a movie in there. And Bella was like, yeah, you don't have to watch the movie. I was like... That's odd, so I guess that's kind of a similar thing. There's some contradictions, I, I would believe that. Uh, is it? Why is there no text on the screen? Oh no. Are we gonna have to have shoe playtime? Oh, there it is. Galact- Oh! You know who Sparkster is, guys, right? Some of you know. 
Some of you are pogging out of your gourds right now, just like I am. It's rocket night. It's motherfucking rocket night. I hope. Also on Kira's house again. Is it gonna, like, start, though? I heard there's a Rocket Knight collection coming out. I bought the reboot of Rocket Knight on sale on Steam a while ago, and I just haven't played it yet. Hell yeah. Oh, this is awesome! Holy fuck. That's so cool. I love that Sonic is sitting there all dazed. 45,000 on my man, Sparkster. You know what? I, what if we dream a little bigger? What if we do 145? Let's do a, let's do a kind of big bet. This is the first time I'm gonna do a kind of big bet. Is this exciting? We got money to throw around. If we lose, it's not a big deal. Let's bet big on Sparkster. We love him. His, uh, his movement kit in the fucking Genesis game would be perfectly equipped for this fight. Just do a diagonal upward dash into his face over and over again. Hydrogen bomb versus coughing baby, perhaps. <laughs> These big boss characters tend to be very slow and stupid. And just have a lot of moves that, like, do a lot of damage. Sparks is not really making a lot of stuff happen right now, though. He's so happy. It's funny, I think this... So Galactus... Because in the MVC games, there's like Apocalypse, and there's... Uh... Uh... There, there's two of these big guys. One of them's like a big blue guy with a big jaw. Who is the big blue guy with the jaw? Come on, Sparkster. Seal the deal. Nice. Apocalypse. Ap Apocalypse and... Uh, Onslaught. Onslaught was the one that I was forgetting. So, there was Apocalypse and Onslaught, and they were both these big bosses that are like, uh, cool, grr, you know? But then Galactus was never... He was in MVC3, but he was even bigger, and he was, of course, 3D. So this version of Galactus is basically just a reskin of one of those other fights. Onslaught, Onslaught, like, starts with a human form, right? And then turns gigantic. I think Sparkster's gonna win us this. And we're gonna get an upset with a... fuck ton of betting. I think we... I think we... this is a dub. This is a Sparkster dub. The head on this is crusty. The rest of the body looks good, I feel like. Huge dub. Hell yeah. Thank you, Sparkster. You're my man. That's not even his sprites from the Genesis game. It must be from one of the other ones, or... Hell yeah. Probably just from the game that's called Sparkster, right? That is the thing from Rocket Knight Adventures. You're exactly right. Okay, I got a drink. Preposterous Cerno. Cherno. Hell yeah, that's a good payout right there. 175,000 buckaroonies. Alright, so this is Tuhu versus Melty Blood. You're about to go blind, folks. <laughs> we're, we're all going to lose our vision. Fuck it, I'll side with Tuhu, because I played those games. I normally don't side with Tuhu. Andrew is sitting this one out. Andrew's probably not going to be back for the rest of the series. I'm probably going to do other shit with Andrew. I just wanted to have at least one stream of this with him. Uh, just for kicks. This is a great song. Yeah, so... Just seriously, if you're photosensitive, look away. Because this is probably going to be kind of insane. I don't know, though. Uh, what tier are they? S tier? S tier. I'm imagining there's gonna be a lot of flashing lights. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be very incomprehensible. 
Yeah? This is preposterous. I love how when she, the lady with the dress falls down on the ground, she just goes like... <laughs> like, it's just her sprite just turns sideways. You would think the dress would, like, flatten out or something. I don't know. Maybe it's a hoop skirt. Two who's getting wrecked. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. But I did not bet very much. So, you know. You saw Aegis Reflector? That's not Aegis Reflector. It's probably similar, but... It's funny. I love that video of the fucking, like... It's like a... Uh... There's like, oh, a cute goth girl walks up to you and grabs your balls. What do you do? And then somebody responded with, like, tech the throw and use my Aegis setup. And somebody, like, reenacted it in Street Fighter V with, like, a Yurian mod. Or I guess Yurian's in Street Fighter V, right? And they put in the, like, la dee da dee da slop on me da da dee da dee da That was my first ex exposure to that song. It made me crack up. T tech her throw and use my Aegis setup. Andrew was, like, thrilled to meet Shu, by the way. I I believe his exact words were, he's like if a mouse was perfect. <laughs> and I was like, yeah! Hey, Cerno actually uh, pulled it. Okay. Pulled a victory out of her ass there. This is... This is a bad start. This is a very bad start. You just need to... Okay, Cerno, you just need to hit the other lady with a lot of moves real fast. Yurian's epic win. Mm. Bad. Lark also said that he could probably eat Shu in two, maybe three bites. I think four. I think he said four. Come on, Tuhu. Do your thing. Do your cool Tuhu thing. No, that's you dying. Cool. Alright, whatever. Game Master. I don't know who either of these people are going to be, and I don't know what Star Labs is. Do you think chinchillas would exist without humans? What do they do in the wild? I mean, th I think they were in the wild before humans found them and said, I want this. They live in the, uh, the Andes, and I think they just scuttle around from little cave to cave, and there's natural, like, ash that they bathe in for their dust baths. This is Homer Simpson's workplace. No, this is an MVC2 stage, I think. Or is it MVC3? Yeah. No, I think you're right. MVC3 Resident Evil stage, like, compressed down to 2D. I'm really sad that it's not the Game Master. I think I'm gonna go with Yuna. Oh my god, her win rate is 82%. That's... mental. Yep, people make fur coats out of chinchillas, and that's pretty fucked up. There's, their fur is extremely soft, but like, you gotta kill, like, what, like 30 chinchilla to make a coat? It's like, what, what a monster, what a monstrous thing to do. Did you know that we, okay. Some people out there are just like, oh, I just simply, I adore fur, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, honestly, like, with all due respect, fuck you. We've invented soft things. And you don't need to do this thing where you wear a fucking dead fox around your neck. Like, stop. It's like, literally, like, watch 101 Dalmatians, you cocksucker. Do they have to dust bath their coats? Yeah. I wonder if they can even wash them, uh... I don't know. I don't think you can toss fur coats in the washer. Okay, Kirby Mythos. We remember the Mythos characters. This is just like... They all kind of look like those videos where it's like, Mario versus Sonic fight sprite battle or whatever. They all look like that. Yeah, watch Ace Ventura 2.
Oh. This fighter on the left kind of looks like they're from the same set as the last fighter on the left. But we're going to go with Kirby Mythos. Now you're going to... So we won, we won a semi-big win on Sparkster. And now you're going to watch me just blow through all the rest of it. One fur coat takes 150 to 300 chinchilla. That can't be right. Is that true? I'm like sizing up shoe. No way that's right. I mean, I don't I know they don't use like every inch of their fucking skin or whatever. It's insane. Yeah, faux fur is also bad. It's true. Wow. Yeah, Mythos Kirby's doing great. Get us that slight upset money. But, like, we've also invented other soft things. You don't need faux fur. You don't need fur. You, I think it's kind of creepy that, that some people are drawn to... Nice meteor sound effect. I think it's kind of creepy that some people are drawn to... The skin of animals being on their clothing. It's like, why do you need to even want to pretend to have that? Hell yeah, Kirby. Get that bread. Yeah, we should ditch our clothes and go, Oh, natural. Yeah, we should all just be naked all the time. That's a great idea. Oh, Bridget. This is Zabby. I don't know what a Zabby is. Opinion on leather? I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. Let alone the fact that it's skin. But at least with leather, leather is made from a lot of animals that are already being killed for their meat, right? Which I feel like makes it a little better. You know? Zabby, oh my god, this is a Goo Goo character. I gotta go with- Bridget's cool and all, but I gotta go with Zabby. This- this creator, Goo Goo 64, makes incredible, incredible characters. Yeah, and like, wool. Wool is great. Because, in fact, you know... I think sheep have been bred to the point where they grow so much wool that they kind of need to be shorn. I don't think- I think that is some weird evolutionary shit where like, they didn't used to need to be shorn, but now it's like... If they... If they, uh go too long without a shearing, they just get super overgrown and, like, can't eat and shit. And yeah, the sheep don't die. Yep, Shrek. Thinking about Shrek. I forgot its name was Shrek, but yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh, I forgot to actually hit the bet. God damn it. We were gonna win this, too. Uh... <laughs> nice. There was, uh, there was a sheep named Shrek that got lost and got, like, super overgrown. And then they, like, found it and sheared it, and it was so happy. Hold on. Let's look it up here. I don't know why its name was Shrek, but, you know. Oh shit, I'm sorry, you guys can't see what's happening. Because I'm in another tab. Oh, he's losing, too. Damn, well, hold on, one sec, I gotta pick up, Sh I gotta pull up a picture of Shrek. Here's Shrek before shearing. And here's Shrek. That's Lady. Here's Shrek after shearing. So proud of him. He was so fucked up. Like, god motherfucking damn, he was fucked up. Evolution did him dirty. Okay, anyway. It's actually real. 
Maybe I'll end up being glad I didn't bet on Zabby. I kind of don't want Zabby to win because I don't want to regret my lack of betting. Jar. Jar. <sighs> Oh, he's singing her a lovely little song. She's fucked. It's gotta be from some obscure fucking, like, PS2 game. I don't know. Okay, Ken SF3. Getting a classic here. Maybe we'll have a Daigo moment. <laughs> there is a... I think there's one on here called, like, Daigo Ken. Or something like that, where it just parries, like, everything. Oh, Allison's cool too, though. I wonder what series that character's from. I feel like I've seen that. I've seen them before. You know what? Fuck Ken. We're gonna go with Allison. Fuck it. Yeah, and it's Daigo's Ken color. This stage is crazy. You know what this stage is? It's fucking. MVC, when you use a super, it plays that little thing in the background of, like, the rocks flying past. And then they just put that on, like, a blue, rocky, pixel art stage to make it look like it's part of the stage. It's very creative. Martial Masters, I would believe it. So, theoretically, if you had... Oh, man, we should have gone with Ken. We absolutely... This is just pathetic, dude. Holy fuck, Allison. That was... that was rough. It would have been such a huge upset, too. Sad. <laughs> Disgusting. MVC music. Samus MV MVC, this is awesome. <laughs> Someone said I looked away and I heard him bite into an onion. <laughs> Let's go Samus MVC, fuck it. That's awesome. What is the stage? Sorry, I gotta snort again. I'm going crazy. Because I'm wetting my jib. You know what I mean? I think I'm gonna have to go to the dump today. <laughs> I'm gonna take some shit to the dump. And I'm gonna take some shit to Value Village. I've been trying to kind of clean out the house a little bit, and we had... There was this corner in the garage that was just filled with... Cardboard. There was just a fuck ton of this fucking... Nasty, it was like whenever somebody bought a TV or bought anything that had a huge cardboard box, they would just put it in this part of the garage for like three years of anyone who's ever lived in this house. And I was just like, this sucks. So I crammed my car full of it, and it like perfectly all fit barely in one car trip, and I took it to the dump. Maybe I already told you guys about this. But it was very satisfying, and now that place is super cleared out. And now I just got a bunch of, like, random trash. We got a bunch of old shitty chairs. I have three different chairs that I'm trying to get rid of. Uh, that I'm probably gonna just end up taking to the dump. And there's also a huge fucking pile of clothes that one of my roommates just has failed to deal with. He said he was gonna deal with it, like, a year ago, and he didn't. And so I'm gonna probably wash them and take them to Valley Village, because he says he doesn't want them. Bella is still in Japan. She's coming back tomorrow. And because of time zone fuckery, it's gonna be- it's gonna be weird. She's gonna, like, go back in time, from her perspective.
That that fucking little insert of Samus just going like Is that all? Damn. Guy got wrecked. Ooh, mask the Griffin. This is the uh the big whore guy. Who sometimes says big whore, depending on which version of the character. His name's also like Tzok, right? I saw that there was a My House Wad edit. I didn't, like, watch it personally, but, uh... I gotta go through and add a bunch of shit like that to the, uh... To the playlist that has those... That was a cool intro to this stage, and this stage is cool, too. It's Highway Star. Let's go, uh... 25... Vote 39. Tzok, but he turned heel in... King of Fighters 14, and now he's King of Dinosaurs. What the fuck? Piplup's seventh evolution is the big horror one. I remember that. Yeah, the fact that Highway Star can make this weird room is so funny. JoJo's just always has that, where it's like a character will have like a pretty straightforward, if kind of surreal, ability, and then it's like, oh yeah, and also this one time he made an illusion room in a tunnel that no one but Rohan could find. That's just also part of his ability, I guess. <laughs> Tzok, come on. Just thinking about part 8 makes me mad. It genuinely, whenever I think- like, I don't even really care about JoJo as much anymore. But... When I think about part 8, I like, get pissed off. Because it just has so much shit like that. Like, sometimes, you know, JoJo, it's like, oh, this character, like, does this thing once and then never does it again and it's never explained. And it's like, okay, whatever. Uh, I think he did, he- no, he made the room, I think. Somebody's saying that the, it was just in the tunnel. I, I'm, I could be wrong. I could always be wrong, but I really seem to remember that it was like the room like didn't appear. It was like, you know, it was like he like created it. It was like a weird little illusion that he made because it had like a dead guy in it. Oh, you're saying that to be funny? I see. Okay. Oh my god. Um, but. Part 8 is like that shit, but every chapter, and also, it happens on like a big scale in a lot of ways. Somebody possibly jokingly said, Jojolian is a story about breaking a curse, because by the end it really isn't. Uh, I don't think the curse even gets broken, like the curse that that was talking about at the beginning. Come on, just survive. Nice! Oh my god, pile drive during the last second. Jojolian is a very frustrating read towards the end because, and especially the the main character's ability, it's like, again, that's another thing where like in Jojo's a lot of people have noticed that, you know, there's a tendency for sometimes the main character's ability to sort of shift slightly in what it's primarily used for. Oh, hey, Parappa 2 music, I think. Uh, it's the ant guy. Uh... In part 8, it's like the guy has a wicked cool ability at the beginning of like, oh, I can use these bubbles and they like steal a property from something. So he's like, you can he can steal your eyesight or he can steal friction from a surface. Those are some of the things he does near the beginning. Nice. Where you come from? Where I go? <laughs> uh, Baltan. By the end of the part, he's just a bubble guy. He just uses bubbles. And, like, that's a cool ability. It would have been cool if that had just been his ability from the start. But it's like he lost his cool stealing thing. It literally just goes away. It's like, actually... They actually don't... It, it doesn't come back. There's, like, one part where he, like, claps a guy on the sides of his ears. And he has, like, bubbles in his hands. And he claps a guy's ears. And the guy, like, passes out. And some people were... And that was, like, late on in Jojo. And some were like... Maybe that was him stealing his consciousness, and everybody else was like, nah, dude, he just popped the bubbles and it made him knock out, like, that's copium of the highest degree. Am I crazy, or was that countdown very short? Like, of course, 
plunder was extremely overpowered, but like as a writer, you can make it as powerful as you want. You know? I like the part where he says now when they shrink, it's coming up. No! He's awesome. And I love how like they in the in Parappa, I think it's Parappa too. They get like it's like a tiny little guy, and he's like, "Oh, we're gonna grow, grow big with the gr grow big ray." And they get way too big, and they're like, "Oh my god, this is fucking terrifying! I'm freaking out!" And then they get shrunk, and like the instant they get shrunk back down, the Ant Man's like, "I'm awesome! I'm awesome! I'm awesome!" And he just starts bragging again. He doesn't skip a beat. He just experienced cosmic horror, and he comes down and talks about how he has cash, money, and fame. There he says it. Yeah, exactly. Stealing people's eyesight and stealing friction was one of the first things he did. So imagine the weird bullshit he could have done by the end. COVID fucked up, uh, part eight. I, it, Araki all but admitted it. He all but admitted it in that Rohan spinoff. That spinoff was, like, about how he's sorry that he fucked up part eight, and he felt like the latter, the latter half of it was written by a evil version of himself. <laughs> like, he literally said that. I also think with Part 8, it was like a big problem with it was that when you take 10 years to write a story, you're gonna like be a different person by the time you're done writing it. So any intent that you had near the beginning might erode over time. Which Rohan spinoff? I forget what it's called, but it's like the most recent one, I think. than I thought. Good going. <laughs> Thanks, but you're still bigger than your normal size. <gasps> you're right. Make me small again. <laughs> Let's move. Oh, hell yeah. This fucking stage is whack. Isn't this from Melty Blood, even though it looks like it's not from anything, because it looks like shit? Maybe it's only partially Melty Blood, or maybe I'm completely wrong. Let's bet on uh, Wonder Woman. Fuck it. The classic Jazzy NYC. Yeah, you're pretty mature than I thought. Is, is that actually what he says? He says, like, broken English. That's a Tuhu character? That? Wait. The one on the right or the one on the, one on the left? Which one? There's a Tuhu here? Left. Hope this helps. This song's such a fucking classic. I love a video game song that has, like, parts, you know? That's the secret to every good video game song. It's starting with, like, fucking Mario 1. Super Mario Bros. theme. Cause then it... Oh, shit. She got Golden Axe armor. She's kicking ass. Hell yeah. Yeah, and then, oh man, there's so many. Seriously, like... I'm not really the kind of guy to, like, aggressively hate on a piece of media. It's like, if a piece of media disappoints me, I catalog my thoughts on it. I put it in the vault, and I move on. But part eight was just such a fucking disaster. There was just, there was so much shit that just felt like empty promises and dead ends, plot dead ends everywhere. It was so miserable watching that part conclude. It was just like such a feeling of like dread, but not the good kind of like, oh, this is a cool tense story. It was like, no dread of like, this sucks. All that shit, like, what do you want to bet that shit that Raimon Mazuka was talking about? 
with like the bubbles being a spinning cord. That's just never gonna come up again. We all know it. And it was so great in the beginning. And then it, yeah, Jobin got robbed. Yeah, hold on. Let's bet Kung Fu, man. Yeah, and then part seven was so great. And then part eight started off really great. And it was like, yes, dude, we're gonna get another part seven. And then part eight was just like, by the end. It was so... Oh. Like, come the fuck on. A lot... I, I always talk about this, the flash forward. There was a part in part eight where it had, like, a flash forward to a scene that was, like, super shocking, and it was like, oh my god, in X amount of time, this horrible, shocking thing is gonna happen. What's gonna happen in the time between now and then? And it did, like, a countdown, and it kept reminding us over and over again, here's when the flash forward happens, here's when the flash forward happens, here's when the flash forward is gonna happen, here's when the flash forward is gonna happen in X amount of time. And then it was just, like, silently dropped, and when we got to that point in, like, the timeline, the thing just didn't happen! It just literally didn't happen! Like... Ah! You can't do that! Y you... like... Ah! <laughs> like, at least that shit in, like, part four, where the, the, like, Josuke flashback... I'm sorry if you don't give a shit about JoJo's, but just deal with it, I guess. That shit in part four, where it's like, oh, the flashback, that wasn't Josuke tra time traveling, that was just some kid that looked like him. It's like, okay, that's ridiculous. That's obviously not what the original intent was, but that's at least possible. But then the flash forward in part eight is like actually not possible. Also, this is a hell of a matchup between two. I, I remember both of these fighters. They're both very jank. Will you ever go back on the Jokakaka podcast? I would go if they invited me. I, I don't know why they would. But uh, I, I like those guys. I still listen to them uh, talk about the newest chapters of Jojo Lands. I think we're going to go with Gaia. I seem to remember Gaia winning a tournament or something. I've heard all the copium about Part 8, frankly. That's, like, where it's like, oh, you know, they intended to, oh, the chapter, the, the, tu, Turu is thematic, and it's about the part getting, having its future stolen from it by a calamity or whatever. I've heard all of it. Like, I'm not, I don't know if that's what you're talking about, chat member, but I've heard all the cope about part eight, and frankly, I kind of think it's all cope. I don't know. Uh, that's just my opinion, but, like, I've read the, like, interpretations and theories and such, and it it just sounds like cope. Like, I, yeah, somebody in chat said it, like, I wanted to like Part 8 a lot, and, like, I enjoy when works of art do subversive things, but that really didn't feel like intentional subversiveness. That felt like poor story writing. Yeah. Yeah, the beetle fight's great. Hey, part eight, early part eight is fucking fantastic. It's amazing. Especially because it feels like it's about to lead into something really cool. And then it doesn't. Yeah, and the ending flashback didn't really mean anything. Yeah. And lest we forget, there was also shit... There is shit in part eight that is, like, confirmed mistake because it got retconned in reprints of it. Like, there's that one famous panel of Josefumi with the birthmark, with the Joestar birthmark plainly visible on his shoulder, and it appears in no other panels, and people were like, what the fuck is up with this birthmark? It doesn't make sense. There's gonna be some kind of, like, plot revelation in the future. But then in the reprint where they reissued, they, there was, like, a colored version or, like, a better sca official scans or something, they actually edited out the birthmark in that fucking frame because it was literally just an error. It was a mistake. Uh. As someone who doesn't really watch anime, is JoJo worth it? It's a really cool series. I mean, a lot of uh, I think I feel like a lot of the reason. Oh, hey, it's Joe. Hell yeah, from Street Fighter One. We'll just vote on him. Fuck it. He sucks, but we'll do it. Uh. It's a really cool series, and it has a ton of really cool shit. 
And but I, I feel like also you have to acknowledge that a lot of the reason why Westerners are into it is because it is it is quite wacky. It's not like some anime are like trying way too hard to be wacky, whereas JoJo's just feels like it's made by an inc- extremely creative, insane person, and it just it can't help but be like that. Whereas shit, like honestly, guys, I could never get into Bobo Bobo or whatever. That was that was one that was just trying too hard to be wacky, and I hate the format of like something wacky happens and then somebody gets big circle eyes in a square mouth and goes, "Oh, the crazy thing happened!" Oh, and then another thing, crazy thing happens, and they go, oh, "The crazy thing happened!" Whoa, and stuff, and I'm like, this is exhausting. Whereas JoJo's is just mental, unabashedly and and fearlessly. And beautifully in, at times. I don't know. It's it's a very interesting series, and it's got lots of cool. And it's just got lots of cool, like shonen, like oh, this guy's got a really cool superpower. He's got a really cool ability. I don't know. It's the name might make you think that it's going to be like overly silly, and it is silly, but it's not like too much. Hell yeah, Joe. Make us that bag. This will be a big upset if he gets it. He has the Street Fighter 1 hit sound effects. The Tupperware sound. The little burp, burp. Those shitty little sound effects. Yeah, here's your resurgence of the JoJo podcast. One of the things I like about Salty Bet is I can just talk about bullshit. Like, a lot of times when I stream games, I'll, I'll after I'm done streaming something, I'll be like, man, I started to talk about something, and then it kind of trailed off because I got distracted by the game. But with Salty Bet, it's like, I can just sit here and ramble about something for, like, 20 minutes and be fine. Guys, I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn off the webcam. This ro- i got to stop trying to stream in this robe, because it's so warm. This is supposed to be something you, like, put on after you, like, take a shower to keep yourself warm. But I always, for some reason, just put it on while I'm streaming. So I'm, I'm actually going to turn off the webcam, I'm going to take this off, and maybe I'll change into some normal clothes. I don't know. So, sorry. Oh, shit. It's... Oh, is this the Sonic CD version of this song? Doesn't... is it? Or is this a different sort of remix? Or no, this isn't even... this is Kirby music. This is the... this is shit in this, like, Smash. I still gotta play Kirby. Oh, come on, Joe. Do something cool. Oh, please! Yes! Yes, Joe, please! Yes, just time him out! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Very nice. Dimitri CVS. Cool. Versus Ultraman. Sun Tzu River. That's Dragon Ball? Or am I totally off the mark? Maybe I'm thinking of, like, Senzo Beans or whatever the fuck. Uh... No, I got this confused with the Sonic CD song. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> We're gonna do Darkstalker's loyalty. Even though he's one of the lamest Darkstalker's characters, he's actually the one that I tend to play the most because he has the funny sexy move where he turns you sexy. <laughs> Yo, CVS, that's like... <laughs> that's a store. Let's see, I mean, I, I imagine if he uses that move in Salty Bet, you know, of course it's not going to be custom for every character on Salty Bet. It'll probably just turn into a universal sexy character. No, he doesn't turn sexy. He turns the opponent sexy. He, like, turns them into a beautiful babe and then seduces them. Damn.
God, seven part or part seven rocks too. Like part seven is so fucking cool. Just like basically the whole way through. There's like some, and it's like every part of JoJo has. Oh, great, cool move, dude. Damn, dreams crushed. Every part of JoJo is, has like some dumb shit. Like the stuff that happened with Sandman in part seven felt like okay there that was like a missed payoff i don't know what the fuck iraqi was smoking there but like overall part seven is so dank it's so fucking good and then part eight it was just so disappointing like the last this the second half of it yeah the worst part of sbr is the first fight you mean the tomb of the boom i i would agree with that and even that fight's not bad kuro uh, I don't have high hopes for Kuro. Didn't we see him? Or maybe I saw him off stream and he, like, disappointed me. Let's just go with Magneto, even though it's, we're probably not going to make very much money here. Ah, uh, maybe I should show Shu a little bit more. Yeah, he's sleeping. I don't want to bug him too much. He's... He deserves his rest. He's worked so hard all day being cute, or all night. All crepuscular. Isn't one of the first enemies in Part 7 the guy who has bees living in his head and it's not his stand, he just does that for real? I don't... Are they living in his head? It's been a while. That's Oyakomova, right? But he, like, attaches, he makes things into... He has a very Kira-esque ability where he turns things into, like, time bombs, right? I thought he just found bees. I didn't think he had the bees inside him, but it's been a while. It's living inside him somewhere, that's funny. <laughs> the ceramics breaking sound effect, did you hear that? <coughs> Holy shit. Wait. Holy fucking shit. Kuro is the guilty character in the comics of Danganronpa when you construct- like, in the games, when you construct a comic describing how the murder was carried out. It's the blackened. It's the fucking blackened. <laughs> I did not realize that until it showed their face up close and I looked at it. Oh my fucking god. I can't believe that. They made a fighter out of the blackened. <laughs> this fucking music. Alright, let's go with Poopa, whatever. Fuck you, Tuhu. I, I think that one was specifically the Danganronpa one, though. Right? Like, I know that's like a Japanese trope of, like, character... indeterminate character obscured by darkness. I mean, they do that in JoJo's, but... I think that was specifically Danganronpa. Is this music? <laughs> she cried. Makoto was there at the start of the fight. Oh, yeah. Huh. I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, the caked out dude from the Ace Attorney promo art. Like, but. The poster for Ace Attorney 1 has a little guy in prison who's, like, lying on the ground in despair and his ass is super fat. Hold on. No, I'm going into another tab. Let's see if I can find it. I remember it was hard to find a really high-quality version of this image. Sorry, you're not going to be able to see for a little bit. Is this going to be a... JPEG? It's a JPEG, oh my god. Look at the guy in jail. Okay, he's not really even that caked out, but isn't that like a sexy little pose? Hold on. 
<laughs> Isn't he doing like a sexy little pose? He's been in prison for sexy little crimes. Oh, nice. Poopa win. Poopa win. Ryu SF3 Nanase. I feel like we know. I feel like I've seen this name on here. I don't remember what it is, though. Oh, and what do you know? My cider has a little bit of swill in the bottom that's all warm, and I don't want to eat it. Drink it. Drink, I swear. Eat your beer and shut up. Shut up, Buzz. I'll kill you. Nanase. Okay. Sure. Hamster. Let's, let's go with Ryu, even though the odds are not in his favor. Partially because this is an anime girl he's fighting. They tend to be quite powerful. We'll just do a little modest bet, in case we get an upset. I'm looking forward to Isabel coming back. One, because I love her dearly, and I miss the shit out of her. Two because I want to play more Ace Attorney. And she's also going to start up, uh, we're going to play, I mean, she's going to play, and I'm going to watch sometimes uh, Persona 3. I'm like halfway through Dual Destinies right now. And Dual Destinies has been a little underwhelming in departments, but it's been fine. And I've heard Spirit of Justice is better, so we'll get there. And then after that, I mean, what would we consider the main series of Ace Attorney? Is it, like, do we include Investigations, or is it just Original Trilogy, and then what is now referred to as the Apollo Trilogy, and then do we, do we count Great Ace Attorney Chronicles? Because I've done that too. Yeah, Ryu, hell yeah. That was actually hype. Would you ever cosplay Sister Bikini? <laughs> no, because I'm about four times as tall as Sister Bikini. She's the one that does a Family Guy pose. Apollo Justice is such a crazy game. Great Ace Attorney was great, as the name might imply. Greatest Attorney Chronicles or whatever. So fucking cool. God damn it. Ryu's pretty hype, but he just is not properly matched against Anime Girl. Yeah, oh my god. Right in his gonits. I don't know why I said that. I love this guy trying to, like, talk movies in the chat. Anyone see Saltburn? Yes. <laughs> That's the kind of answer you get. Weiss. This is a, uh... I think it's Vice. And it's either a Ruby character or a Melty Blood character. Because I think those are both character names in those series. I really want to hate watch Ruby. <laughs> is that, I, I know that is just a purely hateful thing to do. The stage is crazy. And is that a Saint Seiya character? I don't know. Uh, I want to hate watch Ruby, I think. But it's also like, again, I'm not the kind of guy to hate watch shit. But it genuinely seems like something I could just watch and just like... You know? Like, it wouldn't even be torturing myself because I would just be like laughing. I don't know. Like, it looks so bad. <laughs> like, like I, I, I watched that uh, H-Bomber guy video, and he was talking about, like, oh, you know, there's, like, unsatisfying stuff in the plot and stuff that doesn't make sense, stuff that's poorly explained, stuff that's, like, ripped off from, like, other anime and stuff. And I was like, yeah, 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 that's awesome. It also looks like dog shit. <laughs> it looks like ass. <laughs> like, that's the thing that's so funny to me. He's like, oh, it had so much potential, but if it, but you know, oh, they fell short in the writing and the storytelling and the world building, and I'm like, 
what is the good part then? Because the animation also sucks. Like, the fight scenes? <laughs> he was too kind in that video, but I, I, you know, I say that, but I haven't actually watched it, so I should shut up. But it literally work, looks worse than, like, yeah, Source Filmmaker. And there's, like, just no... It's so, like, passionless. I don't know. <laughs> just, like, the fight scenes are great because they're animated by a guy who actually knows what he's doing. And then all the rest of it just looks like ass. He was like, oh, you know, there was this one really good part of Ruby where the quirky anime girl character touched somebody's nose and said, boop. And, and he was like, and it seemed like that was like one of the only kind things that he said about her, or one of the only positives that he like listed. Oh, the funny boop moment. I'm like, that is like the lowest of the low bars in terms of comedy in an animated show. Like that is so, that is so nothing. <laughs> Uh, it w would Ghost Trick be a good game to stream? Is, uh, I, I don't, I honestly don't know. I mean, I'd like to play it, but I might end up playing that off stream because it kind of seems like a, the kind of game that would not be good to stream, but I could be wrong. Okay, what even happened? I wasn't even paying attention. We, we got destroyed, right? I think we got destroyed. This guy's talking about how he got a boner watching Saltburn. <coughs> Which is, I, I truly know nothing about Saltburn. Besides seeing people talk about it on Twitter occasionally. It's, oh, this is awesome. It's like a gay rich people movie with murder or something. I don't know. All the normies went nuts for it. Well, we gotta go for Zangief, but this is awesome. Look at the kunks. Oh my god. This is Necro's stage remix. It's Necro and 12's theme in Third Strike. <laughs> Saltburn is most accu accurately described as a co-worker movie. Holy fucking shit. I think you've just... Did you make that up or is that a thing? Is that like a thing that people say? Because if that's just a thing you've just made up, I think you've stumbled upon something incredibly powerful there. That is so true, chat member. The way this game lets you see the differences between the animation styles is super neat. It is. That's like one of the things that's amazing about it. It's like the ultimate crossover, and it's not. It's like the things they're crossing over with each other don't... The, it's uncompromising. They don't sacrifice their uniqueness for the crossover. It's like, it's raw, you know? It's raw crossover. You don't have to watch, you don't have to see Zangief in the shitty Fortnite art style. No, it's Zangief motherfucking Street Fighter Alpha from the actual game. It's already a thing, co-worker movie, okay. Yeah, that's the appeal of the amazing world of Gumball. Well, Zangief got deleted. He had a way lower win rate, so it makes sense. And Rhino has, like, a bunch of, like, you know, running at you hitboxes, whereas Zangief is a filthy grappler. God Mars. I remember that name. Is it like, it's like a demon thing, or am I totally forgetting? Oh, it's this guy. This guy's got a weird, like, gimmick, too, right? Maybe it's just that I saw him win a tournament, or, like, get really far in a tournament once. Uh, we'll, we'll go with God Mars. Uh, doesn't he have, like, an RNG thing? Or, uh, maybe I'm... I'm just spitting out words here. He 
kind of looks like that guy in the Venture Brothers who, like, wears a bunch of different people's armor. The, like, scavenger guy in Season 6 who plays lawn darts. <laughs> yeah, it is entirely possible that co-worker is now the word for... Thing, like, things that people who aren't terminally online do, you know? Godmars has some weird gimmick. He's got, like, an insta-kill or something, I think. Uh. Street Fighter 3 Third Strike announcer was there. Yeah, there's his insta-kill. <laughs> he just sits there and takes punishment and then insta-kills you. <laughs> That's what his weird gimmick is. Is it like if he builds up meter or something? Like he just got meter. Yeah. I think it's if he gets enough meter, he just insta kills you. <laughs> That's awesome. Kind of reminds me, I don't know if it's exactly like this, but there's one that's called, like, Cell's About to Blow, and it's Cell from Dragon Ball. And he, like, he starts to do, he's like, ah, he's, like, charging up. And he, like, inflates like inflation fetish art and becomes massive and you have to like beat the shit out of him and kill him before he blows up but if he blows up he insta kills you major circuit super punch out by the way super punch out such a fucking underrated game genuinely it's so good Oh my god, Obelix from Asterisk, or whatever. Oh my god, oh, these guys are both great. Holy fuck, man. Oh, this is some classic Salty Bet bullshit. A matchup made in heaven. Let's bet on Giant Baba. I like Giant Baba, I like the cut of his giant jib. Yeah, everyone does forget Super exists. It's like whenever people talk about like, Oh, I love old Punch-Out! What's so funny is people will be like, Oh, I love like old Punch-Out on the arcade! And you know they're thinking about Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on the NES. Not the actual arcade game. <laughs> like maybe they are thinking about the arcade game, but I feel like a lot of people are like, Oh, the original Punch-Out! And they're, they're talking about Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. But like, I don't even blame them, because that's the really famous one. And then Wii is commonly accepted as also being great, but... Super Punch-Out's fantastic. Uh. Oh god. <laughs> that grab animation's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. He just shakes him like a baby. Oh my god, Giant Baba, do something. He's like running around like, help! Help me! Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I think there's some hitbox issues going on here. Yeah, like, that should be hitting. He's not even blocking the moves, they're just not even landing. We punch out is too old now, sad face. What does that mean? What do you mean it's too old now? Oh, oh. Wow, did he, like, slipped on a banana peel and died? What the fuck? <laughs> What's the difference between Mike Tyson's and Arcade? They're, like, totally different games. Uh, the the wireframe, the, like, green wireframe uh, Little Mac skin in Super Smash Brothers, that's a reference to the original. <coughs> Where middle, Little Mac looks like a wireframe. And he, uh, wow, he got slapped. He looks like a wireframe, and every time you punch the opponent, it goes, Body blow! Body blow! Body blow! Jab! Jab! Uppercut! Body blow! I don't know what these characters are. Hmm... Should we manifest Yuki? I'm manifesting a Yuki win right now. It's probably a toss-up, though. This chick on the left, we've seen a bunch of different versions of her in the past. She usually does pretty well. I don't know why her reflection is flickering, though. Body blow! Body blow! Uppercut! 
That's the one that has vodka drunkenski. Nantekoto. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, see, this is kind of why I don't really like, uh, and, and, and you know, and these guys, these whales, wabbit season, betting 10 million, and it's like, can we look at the, uh, do we have, hold on, I, I don't want to show, accidentally show my personal information on here. There's like the shaker, right, where you can see the, the like, top betters. And, and this guy, Wabbit Season, I mean, one, he like bots and shit, like most of the top betters on here. You know, he's constantly botting and, uh, has like billions and billions and like, I think over a trillion salty bucks, you know? And so it's like, what even is the point of, of coming down here with us mere mortals and just like hugely swaying the bets? to make it so that if you bet on somebody you think is going to win because you actually think they're going to win and it's not going to be like a big upset, you make like no money, you know? It's like kind of fucking it up for the rest of us. That was one of the things that I used to like complain about and probably what ended up gotten, getting me, one of the things that got, ended up getting me banned is being like complaining that people were botting all the time and like messing with the bets with outside technology. Uh, we got a cool off stage here, by the way. Very sweet. Let's go with 23399. And let's do this weird robot. I don't know what the fuck he's from, but he looks awesome. Yeah, it's so funny how even introducing, it's like, this isn't even real capitalism, this is like fake capitalism, right? But it's like, capital was introduced to this environment, and hey, people are gonna be shitty, you know? People are going to exploit it. People, like, if there is a number that will go up, the human brain wants to fuck over everyone else in order to get their number up the most. Well, it's looking pretty good for Killer B fans. Gotta be honest. Also, we're still- today's gonna be another day where we just do a bunch of pure matchmaking. There's no way I'm making it to the next tournament. Shoe's in his little tube. He's in his little shoe tube. So cute. He thinks he's hiding, but I can see him. Pumpkin Hill, that's a Sonic thing, right? I think I know the Pumpkin Hill song. Or is that Church Hill? I'll, I'll do a tournament, yeah, at some point. It's just the timing doesn't work out. It's like, you know, since Salty Bet is a stream, I can't really... Uh, I can't really determine when things happen or don't happen. It's just I gotta... In a weird way, sometimes if I want to show certain things on Salty Bet, I have to, like, plan my schedule around it. Which is kind of funny. Church Hill is one of the areas in Pumpkin Hill. Ah. I also always love it when the character palettes, like, line up with their colors. Like, we got a red guy on red and a blue guy on blue. That's just great. That's a blue girl, I think. Oh. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Clap, clap, clap. I don't know what the fuck this ghost is in the back. I don't know what generally what's happening in the background. That ghost with the rainbow tongue is vaguely familiar. That's King Boom Boo? From Sonic Adventure 2, okay. Whack. Yeah, I was gonna say, is the is the lady there from Sonic? Okay... 
Omake, you're doing pretty good. You're making me a happy man right now. I'll probably not do too many more matches uh, today. We'll probably call it quits pretty soon. It's been like an hour and 40 minutes. I gotta go to the dump <laughs> before it closes. Look at this guy. Oh, look. Vet finally decides to attack. Fucking idiot. It's funny how some of the people who have been here for like 15 years still type like it's 2011. Does that make any sense? Damn. Oh, make... You're making me pretty sad right about now. Like, going on to Salty Bet is like taking an ice core sample of, like, <laughs> internet... Brief internet history. Recent internet history. 7-Up Bottle. Is this gonna be a cool spot? stage. Salty Bet in general still feels like it never left the Obama administration. Cross-Eyed and Painless, are you a Salty Bet regular? Did I, did I used to see you on the actual site? Or am I crazy? God, I think this is a cool spot stage. Death Machine. He's very red. If the person on the right was very blue, I would be very happy. Okay, I'm doing my classic thing where I'm trying to bet upset a lot. But that's just the way I be. I'll bet a little bit on upset. Like, I rec- yeah, I recognize you from Salty Bet Chat. And also from the Cool Talking Heads username. You gotta bet the upset, why else live? That's so true. That's so wise. funny too, uh, oh man, Death Machine is actually, and that's, that's the worst thing, is when you try to bet upset, and then it's not actually upset. But, looks like we might win here. Potentially. He activated his Death Machine. Did you see the new Talking Head stuff? I did not. What the fuck do you mean, new Talking Head stuff? What does that mean? Come on, Death Machine. Come on. Come on. Come on. Use your big move. Come on, just do it, dude. It's okay, that was just him building meter. He was just building meter, I swear. God. <laughs> His moves do such a stupid amount of damage. But he's just kind of bad. I think his AI is not great. Which, you know, at times can be the most exciting Salty Bet characters. Because they job and then they do well. Or they do well and then they job. Come on. Probably one more hit will do it, dude. E. Come on. <laughs> he's choking hard. He's choking hard. He's choking so hard. He sucks. He fucking sucks. He sucks. He sucks. <laughs> Street Fighter 4 Ryu. Oh my god, is this the like horribly fucking jank one? By the way, look, there's a raid. Somebody raided Salty Bet, and I remember trying to raid Salty Bet ages ago and it not working, and I wonder if that is because of the ban. But I seem to remember it specifically saying this per this channel does not have raids enabled. So, I don't know. Should we try at the end? Probably not. Look at this. Kind of red versus blue. This is not the jank Street Fighter 4 Ryu. He has a Street Fighter 4 meter, and the symbol appeared above his head, but... <clears throat> I was hoping it was going to be the one that's, like, actually the model from Street Fighter 4, like, jankily cut out. What is this fucking music? Let's just do a 20k on him. The Talking Heads released a song they recorded a long time ago. And they just didn't release at the time. That's one of those kinds of things. That makes sense.
<laughs> baby, 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 come see. Yeah, do you like my car? I don't even know if I want to try to raid at the end of this stream, though. Like, it doesn't really matter, and again, I don't want to prod the bee's nest. I just want to enjoy Salty Bet. I don't want to make drama or anything. Because at the end of the day, I do like this. Oh my god, that portrait. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to make very much money. But do you see, by the way, if you keep track, if you look at these bets over here, and look at where Gohan's salt money bet, they like almost always bet correctly, because I'm pretty sure it's just a bot, like the person isn't even fucking here, and they're just botting and using that list of matchup data that's been collected over the course of like five years or whatever. Oh hey Boo. My Boo is here. Oh hey, Ryu actually lost. And Gohan Salt Money does lose sometimes. It's not a perfect system, but it's it's a safe system that primarily gets them money without without them having to play the game. <laughs> Which is like what's the point? Come on, everybody. It's a hamster dance. Do you like my car? Was that a magic carpet? It's close. It's anyone's game, honestly. It looks like Ryu's winning, but it's anyone's game. Nice! Oh my god, very clutch combo. Hell yeah. <clears throat> D-A-N-C-E. They made another song called D-A-N-C-E, probably ripping off my Rhythm Heaven remix. Typical. This is not real money, no. It is useless money. It does not have the- it's only uses for betting. Okay, what do we got? Frieza and Android 16. Oh, and this is a double dragon stage. This is uh, what a Bobo is from when I played a Bobo's Big Adventure, and I played Double Dragon. Arcade Double Dragon sucks ass. Oh, there's a Bobo! He did his thing. He did his classic thing. Awesome. Uh, whatever, I'll do Android 16. Yeah, Double Dragon on the arcade machines fucking sucks ass. Maybe the version on the NES is better. I've never played that version. I know it's a, I know that situation is true with uh, Bionic Commando. The arcade version of Bionic Commando is like fucking unplayable. And then it's at best just kind of a lame platformer. And then the one on the NES I've heard is actually really good. Nice. Nice. Arcade version of Ninja Gaiden is in that area too. I didn't even know Ninja Gaiden had an arcade version. I played Shinobi arcade version and that one also kind of sucked. Ooh, oh my god, a spirit bomb or whatever, I don't know. Ninja Gaiden Arcade is a beat-em-up instead of a platformer. Well, there's your problem. Beat-em-ups are bad. <laughs> Even good beat-em-ups are just, the like, mid. I played- no, I didn't play Arcade Ghosts and Goblins. I played NES Ghosts and Goblins. Which was really... Yeah, that was, uh, wow. It's quite the experience. Well, after this stream, I'm gonna go make a delicious sandwich before I go do my chores. And it's gonna be so tasty. I also, I... I smell like balls. I smell terrible. I haven't taken a shower in like three days. I really, uh, I really let myself go. With this Bella gone. Oh, this, uh, this is Dan's theme. 
from Street Fighter. I don't know where this theme exactly originated. I would assume Street Fighter Alpha, but I could be wrong. Uh oh, he's fucked. What kind of sandwich? I've got these little hoagie rolls that are delicious and very cheap at the store. I'm gonna cut one of those in half with a knife. I'm going to use that knife to spread mayonnaise in a light layer on the inside of the bread. I'm going to place down four slices of turkey with uh, cracked pepper. And I'm going to wash some lettuce and put some lettuce down. And then I'm going to put Swiss cheese on top and uh, close it up and uh, put it in my gullet. Come on, no. Android 16, you suck. Oh my god, overkill. <laughs> oh yeah, and I might put a couple slices of tomato on there. I got a tomato at the store yesterday. You had me up until Swiss cheese. Not a fan of, like, American or cheddar or pepper jack. Provolone is kind of nothing. Swiss has that right flavor for me. So Goki is Akuma's name in uh, Japanese, so I'm assuming that's who this is. <laughs> nice. It's CV. It's SVC Goki, and then Black Widow. Who I I don't know where Black Widow is from, but uh, I definitely recognize him. There's there's a fighter on here called Black Widoraemon, which is Black Widow with Doraemon's face. Let's go with Akuma, whatever. You gotta try Munster and Gouda cheese. Yeah, I don't know. I've not really experimented with cheeses that much. And I, I love a good sharp cheddar cheese. This is classic white people talk right now, talking about our favorite cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese is, of course, delicious. Just cheese and crackers, you know, or like, uh... There's this kind of... There's this company, I, it's called Cracker Barrel, but it's not associated with Cracker Barrel, like, restaurants. That makes this, like, white cheddar that's really, really good. Just cheese and crackers, and, uh... But on a sandwich, I've never been a huge fan of cheddar. Unless... Sometimes it's like, okay, aw, oh, hell yeah. Sometimes it's like you do just a cheese sandwich with, like, literally just, like, sourdough or, like, white bread and cheddar cheese, and that's good. That's a that's a nice, like, toddler meal, you know? I liked that Raging Demon. Shut up, I love that exact same white cheddar. That's so funny. <laughs> that Raging Demon did a fuck ton of damage, too. Could you do that again? No, he just spent all his meter. But just do a couple more air fireballs. Come on, just camp out. <gasps> Come on, just seal the deal. Mm. Pretty sure they are a part of the restaurant. Oh, maybe. I could be wrong. I don't. I don't think it's the same like logo. Yeah, I've never been a fan of the the the, the Baby Bell Gouda cheese wheels. Uh, I know that they're like. Beloved, but they never really did the trick for me, even as a child. Raw, wet mozzarella, that's so based. Hell yeah, Kuma. Awesome. Even though we didn't make any money off of that. We didn't lose anything. Yeah, no, I love a nice uh, Caprice salad. Prinny squad. That's, is that gonna, is Prinny the penguin from Disgaea? Hey, Disgaea. Uh, Helix Snake, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of provolone. Provolone doesn't have enough, like, flavor to me. Somebody earlier said, uh, that melted provolone is where it's at, and I would maybe believe that, but... Uh, let's... <laughs> Gun might very well destroy them, but let's let's make a big bet on Prinny Squad, because it's funny. Hey, this guy. Hey, uh... Someone said I've got to try horse spaghetti. Uh, spicy pasta? Actually delicious. 
I've had, like, I've bought at the store just jars of the kind of sauce that you use for spicy spaghetti. And it's actually so good. Oh my god, I'm, like, literally salivating, like, Pavlov's dog right now. I'm, like, actually genuinely salivating thinking about spicy spaghetti. Holy shit. Yep, that was a pretty easy dub. The odds aren't even that stacked. We'll actually make an okay amount of money off of this. Look at them just staring at the camera. Check, check, check. I don't even know what kind of game even is Disgaea. All I know about Disgaea is that uh, there's like a fan case of Phoenix Wright crossover with Disgaea that Isabel said sucked. Okay, our Swede Brunstude is uh, that's Nico Arc. That's like non Nico Nico Arc. From Melty Blood. It's an isometric strategy-ish RPG, huh? It's turn-based combat and the numbers go to sextillions. Okay. That is not the worst pronunciation I've heard of her name. I tried to do as bad as possible. <laughs> Man, I don't care about these two. $26,174 on the sword. Go for an upset, because surely she'll be the upset option. Surely. What movie was it where someone made whore pasta in a sink? I'll tell you right now. Uh, are you thinking of Series of Unfortunate Events? Because you might be thinking of Series of Unfortunate Events movie. I don't know if it was specifically whore pasta, but they said it was putanesca. Yeah, we definitely bet the upset here. Hold on, I realized that there's like a, a, a cider, a dollop of cider landed on the table last night when I was streaming with Lark and it like hardened and fell hard and sticky. It's terrible. Yeah, Lark and I left a hard, sticky stain on the table. You heard it here first, folks. I'm just gonna say it before anyone else does. <sighs> Shit. Oh yeah, Neko Arc is absolutely... Neko Arc is absolutely on Salty Bed in multiple forms. There's one that's like a giant robot Neko Arc. That's amazing. Hey, little shoe. Hey, little buddy. Yes, good morning. Yes, you are so cute. He's sniffing my hand. Yes, hello, dude. You are so cool. He's so cute. I'll show him at the end of the stream. We gotta, we gotta show Shu like almost every stream nowadays. It's just the rules. <clears throat> Uh, not looking too good for Ori Valadier. Valadier than you, buddy. Nope. Mask the Griffin again, EX3. Ranma Beach. Ranma is, uh, that's that, like anime where Ranma one half right or one and a half or something like that where there's a there's a guy that like turns into a girl when he gets wet or something <laughs> isn't that isn't that a thing it's like literally captain underpants rules Ranma balls it's also a pokemon uh let's go with mask the griffin and I'll, I'll be signing off soon here, I think. I'm thinking about, uh, thinking about the spicy spaghetti. I'm too hungry, man. Hold on, let's- I put on my robe. I'm decent. I'm- I'm egghead. Let's go- let's go take a little look at little baby shoe. Oh, little baby shoe. 
I'm gonna turn my webcam around so that I can actually flip horizontal. There we go. So I can camera man. Here's my little buddy. He's having his little sleep. Look at his big ears. What a cutie. He's so awesome. Snoof the camera? Yeah, snoof the camera? Alright, I'm not gonna bother him too much. POV, you are the pasta whore. Yup, whore. Nice. He did the slam. Hold on, uh... Get my co-host back in here. Alright, do we make- we make some money if he wins this. Not a lot, but... Some. He's all ears. I would try spinning like him, but... It's like... Hold on, I would need to angle the... The camera up. And I would need to take off my headphones. did it, and now I'm dizzy. This is a mistake. No, I didn't cut- I didn't- I didn't grab any cords with my foot. Do you want me to spin in the same way as him? God damn it, okay. I'm actually shocked at how dizzy that made me. I haven't, like, been dizzy as an adult. I feel like that's such a, like, child thing. It's like, oh, you spin around and you get dizzy. It's been a while since I've gotten dizzy. Yeah, clip it and ship it, boys. That's one for the Twitch Scraps farms. We make a lot of money if she wins this, but those odds are making me think it's not very likely. We'll see. The thing is, the thing you do to make yourself like wicked dizzy is you take a baseball bat and put one end on your forehead and the other end on the ground and you like rotate around the baseball bat. And that like absolutely fucks you up. If we can get a win here, I'll be very happy. There was one win. No, that's just it. I don't spin very much as an adult. Maybe that's a bad thing. Ah, uh, this is surely a insta-kill. Damn. Not looking good. Not looking good, man. <laughs> oh no. She died before the super even properly went off. <laughs> cool screams. Cool screams. <laughs> okay, Succubus versus Jailbot. Is that our Jailbot? Is that the Jailbot that I think it is? Because if so, I'm betting, like, a lot on Jailbot. We're gonna do, like, 160,000 on Jailbot. Regardless of stats. Come on. Yes! Oh my god! That's so awesome! Yes, I will absolutely bet a lot on Jailbot. From Super Jail. Oh, this is great. 
I don't know if I've ever seen this guy. I'm, I have high expectations, even though the sprite looks a little dinky. <laughs> so those of you who don't know, Super Jail's a crazy show. It's very gory. It's very extreme. But the beginning of every single episode is there's this, like, filthy criminal called Jackknife who's, like, in society and he does some horrible crime. He, like, steals from somebody or he, like... I don't know. He does horrible things. I mean, he tries to, like, murder people and steal a bunch of money and all sorts of shit. And then every single episode starts off with him doing some crime, and then Jailbot shows up and, like, brutalizes the shit out of him and drags him to jail. Oh, there's the warden. That's so cool. Oh, this is a whole thing. What the fuck? <laughs> and, like... Jailbot brutalizes Jackknife and also causes, like, ridiculous collateral damage every single time and gets usually, like, tens if not hundreds of people killed in the process of getting this guy to jail. It's so fucking funny. It's so, like, messed up. not looking like it's necessarily going to be stacked in Jailbot's favor or anything, but Jailbot's at least got some nice animations. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. The, the damage is so poor. Like, look at that. What are you doing, Jailbot? <laughs> yeah! That's exactly the kind of shit that, like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. That's so funny. OBAMA! Somebody said I tried to show my friend Super Jail and they were not fans. That's a show that some people will bounce right off, and I don't even blame them. I literally don't even blame them. Show's a, a tough sell, I think. But if it's your sort of thing, the animation is just so great, and it's so... It's like liberating in how horrible it is. Like, it's just like, the worst things happen. But it's like, it's almost like freeing in a way. It's like, it's like a show made up entirely of like, intrusive thoughts. If that makes any sense. <coughs> it's very kind of like a cathartic show in a way. Okay, well. <laughs> Wait, this is awesome. What the fuck? That's so cool. Jail Pong. <laughs> Wait, this is an amazing animation! Wow. What a creative super, and it did almost no damage. It did about the same amount of damage that Succubus does with a basic normal punch. <laughs> wow. Jailbot, you suck, but I love you. <laughs> and dead. Okay, I think that's gotta be it. Tensing versus Miyako on Brazil. Probably Street Fighter Brazil. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go, I think. Uh, and... We're gonna go raid somebody. I don't think I'm gonna try to raid Salty Bed. I don't know if that's a good idea. Mike is streaming. Did he, like, just go live? No. Oh, he's doing infinite craft. Okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. Hey, it's almost a game. No, it's a game. Uh... Well, I hope you guys got a kick out of the stream, as always. Uh, and I hope you enjoy watching Mike make things in Infinite Craft, which looks very interesting. Uh, yeah, it's Street Fighter 2 Brazil, or no, Street Fighter Alpha Brazil, I think. Uh, I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. And there will be more Salty Bet in the future. Uh, hell, who knows? Maybe I'll even randomly decide to do it later tonight. Who knows? Uh, but for now, I'm signing off, and I'm gonna go eat a sandwich and go to the dump. <laughs>